Yeah, I'd love one. Yeah, I'd love one. I'm Gary. I'm Celeste. It takes forever to get a drink around here. There's I'm only the one mattress. No, oh, don't go. Those guys bother you? Oh, they're fine. I mean, you just got here. You help yourself. You like bourbon? I love it. We got that out of the way. Tell me, Celeste, what do you do for a living? Eh, I'm a sales rep, and I came here to call on a customer, but uh, they gave me a hard time because I'm a girl. Is that how you think of yourself? As a sales rep? As a girl. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I like your hair. I like your outfit. But actually, this is my second favorite outfit. I had a first favorite. But it got ruined, and I had to get rid of it. You did? It smelled. Really? Having it clean didn't help? No. <laughs> so tell me, Gary, what do you do for How a living? How far do you want to go with this? <sighs> Not yet. Don't say anything yet. I don't think it works for somebody else. You know, Gary and Celeste, what do they know about anything? <sighs> well, this is your game I've never played before. It's not a game. It's not something you play. Well, does this make any sense to you? It doesn't have to. It's something that happens. It's like seeing someone for the first time. Like could be passing on the street and, and you look at each other and for a few seconds there's this kind of a, a recognition like you both know something the next moment the person is gone and and it's too late to do anything about it and you always remember it because it was there and you let it go and you think to yourself what if I had stopped what if I had said something what if what if it may only happen a few times in your life How'd you find me? Oh, uh, I your room from downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> and if I had answered, what were you going to say? I would say who I was, and do you remember me, and if you'd want to meet for a drink. If I remembered you. I came here looking for you. All right, so then I would have said yes, but for all you know, I could have had a SWAT team waiting for you. Why would you trust me? It'd be worth the risk. You like taking risks. So do you. You know, sooner or later, you really wear that suit. Well, it's not what you were about to say. Remember how talkative you were in the trunk? Mm -hmm. Adele said you do that when you're nervous. Oh, she did, did she? You kept touching me, feeling my thigh. Well, but in a nice way. I was thinking the same thing. Was, uh, I kept thinking, what if we took a time? 
time out if we because we just spent some time together. You know, I saw you on the street. Where? Outside of Dallas. You went to see her? Don't warn her about Chino. So she did help you. I don't think we should get into that. You're right. And I won't ask about Buddy or what you guys are doing in Detroit or if you've run into Glenn Michaels yet or... Okay, now don't talk like that because you scare me. 